Welcome everyone to today's meditation. We'll start this meditation with one of my favorite centering practices. It's actually a breath practice or a pranayama practice, um, and that is alternate nostril breathing. If you're not familiar, I'll go ahead and show you first the hand position um, that we'll use to do this breathing practice. And so you will take your right hand, it's the traditional hand that we use, you'll place your pointer and middle finger down and leave the, your other three fingers out. When we start the practice, we start the practice by closing off with our thumb, our right nostril, and breathing in through the left. And then we close off the left with the other two fingers that are out. Breathe out the right, breathe in the right, close it off, breathe out the left. I will guide you through a few rounds and then you'll get the hang of it, um, but I did want to show you that hand position so you understand what I'm talking about. That practice is really nice because it balances out um, the channels in the body. The right left side channel helps balance out your thinking. It also balances out your breathing pattern. So we all tend to be dominant and breathing in one nostril or the other. Um, and so we even that out because the nostril that you're dominant in does uh, have sort of an impact. So it's kind of like finding that yin yang in our breathing pattern and in our minds. So it's a great practice to start with. From there, we'll move into open awareness meditation, and then we'll end with some visioning. So go ahead and find your seat. Sitting upright, but not up tight, closing down the eyes or focusing your eyes to one point out in front of you. And before we start our alternate nostril breathing, let's just take a few deep breaths together. Fill up, breathing in through the nose. And empty, breathing out through the mouth. Again, in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In through the nose. And take this one out through your nose. And then go ahead and find your hand position, kind of like that hang 10 sign. Close off the right nostril, take an inhale through the left. Close off the left, take an exhale through the right. Inhale right, exhale left. Inhale left, exhale right. Inhale right, exhale left. Inhale left, exhale right, inhale right, exhale left. And just keep going on your own. Absolutely no rush. Keep each inhale and exhale smooth and steady. In and out through your nostrils as best you can. I find this practice because we're using hands and we're having to pay attention to the side it does require that extra bit of focus for our minds, which can help us to get present, to get here, to detach from some of those thoughts, just to create a little extra space in our mind before we head into our other practices. And the next time that you breathe out through the left nostril, that will complete the practice. Once you get there, no rush, just go ahead and release your right hand back down into your lap or onto your legs. And just sit here for a few breaths, just sort of feeling maybe any shifts in energy. And 
let's release focus on the breath completely, shifting into that open awareness meditation. Finding that separation between us and our thoughts. Instead of being intermingled with our thoughts, we are the one observing our thoughts. Noticing any predominant or common thoughts that you are having today. As a way to take a little inventory of your minds. We talked before about labeling. Sometimes that's helpful for people. So as a particular thought comes in, just sort of noting or recording the type of thought that is. And really, that just helps our mind sort of categorize it because it likes to categorize things. Tuck it away. Trust that if it's a thought we need later, it'll be available for us later. Maybe by this point, maybe not, you've started to find some space between the thoughts. You might notice that there is a peace or a calmness in that space where we're not thinking, we're just simply being. A little pause or rest for the mind. And just be careful to not try to fill that space unnecessarily. Rather, see if you can just be with that space however long it lasts. If you need your breath as that anchor to hold you here, to help you not get washed away in a thought, use your breath. You can follow your inhale, your exhale for a few rounds, or even the whole time. few more moments to do this check-in, to take notice. What is the state of my mind today? What are the qualities of my thoughts today? And let's shift into the final portion of our practice. <clears throat> we'll start with the vision meditation that we did in a prior day. So just very simply moving through about the next, say, 12 or so hours. So if you're going to be sleeping during that time, you could move through the following day. 
but just stepping through those events, those situations you anticipate might be happening <clears throat> in that time. And really seeing yourself move through these situations. And see how you're showing up. Most importantly, feel how you want to feel. Not only sort of feeling that in your mind, but feel that in your body. Laying the groundwork for the next day or so ahead. We sometimes call this priming. Setting up your minds, your energy, to be optimally prepared for what you anticipate might come ahead. You, of course, never know for sure, but what might come ahead. placing special emphasis on the feeling. So being there in your mind, but also feeling how you're feeling in that place. Feeling that right here, right now. Do you wanna be in that situation with a sense of calm, confidence, compassion, ease, joy, What will you bring? Because at the end of the day, that's pretty much all we can control, right? And just to kind of finish up with the next event or so. Tucking those visions into your mind, into your heart, not forgotten, just placed away for now. And we'll expand our visioning out a little further. I tend to choose three years because it's not so far ahead that it can be unimaginable to think about where we might be, but it's far enough ahead that we can certainly accomplish great things and make progress toward our hope, goals, dreams. So take this moment to imagine where you are three years from today. What place are you in? Who are you with? How are you being? Most importantly, how are you feeling? Three years from now. And try the best you can to not really control a script here, a plot line. With these prompts, just let whatever comes up, come up. It could surprise you. What have you accomplished in the three years from now through then? What growth have you achieved? Who is this person three years out? See them. Feel the energy they carry with them.
marvel at all that they've done, who they've become, what they've contributed. Really honing in on these qualities. Because we know it's not so much about what we do over the course of three years. It's about how we do it. Finding joy in that journey. And start to let the three-year vision fade into the mind, into the heart again, not forgotten, just tucked away for now. And let's end our practice how we began our practice today. Take a deep breath in through your nose and a long breath out through your mouth. Big inhale. Long exhale. One more in through the nose. Let's let this last one out through the mouth as well. Sealing your lips, bringing your hands to your heart in gratitude for yourself for continuing to show up for this valuable work. So proud of you. Keep it up. Have a wonderful day ahead. Namaste.